Hey bitches, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my Linty sweater and also welcome back to this black eye. I swear you guys, it is not Gabby Hanna fans that actually got me this time around. It is just that I had a little procedure done underneath this eye. Have no fear, I did see a lot of people in the comment section wondering, Nick, what has happened to your face? Oh my God, did someone attack you? No, I went and I got some filler, I got some Botox. I also did this thing called PRP. I told you guys about it in another video, but I am fine. I'm still swollen from the Kybella, as you guys can see here. It's still numb, but I've had to pinch it. And I actually have that Madonna roller that I've been taking and it's been pinching it like very nice. I think the swelling is going down, but still noticeable. It is what it is. I feel like majority of the time where we bring James Charles name up in any drama on social media, it has to do with some guy, normally a straight guy or a guy that told James Charles that he was bisexual, but now a 14, 15 year old is calling James Charles out. I'm not going to play the video here for you guys because that's fine creepy but he's being called out by someone on social media it's like a tiktok star he has like 300 something thousand people over on tiktok the guy is saying that james sent him messages sent him dms sent him some naked photos said that he wanted to fly him out to la and that he has all these receipts i will say this the beginning of the kids video huge foul right there because he might have blurred it but you can still tell that james charles was doing something to his butt up in one of those video clips very inappropriate to put on youtube i do not think that revenge in any way, even if you are trying to get your point across that James Charles was sending you these inappropriate photos, I do not think that putting them back online or even putting them blurred online is something that you should do. That is a huge foul. We do not get into that on this channel. Now, James Charles is saying that him and this kid did in fact used to talk, but he is saying that the kid told him when he asked that he was 18 years of age. And then James apparently just did no more research into this kid, which I'm kind of like iffy about because James Charles has been in so many scandals with guys online, the ones that say they're straight, the ones that then say they're bisexual. He's just been dragged through the mud when it comes to guys. I'm going to talk about that in a second. But I find it kind of hard to believe that James Charles wouldn't dig a little bit further into this guy, considering he has a following over on TikTok, seeing what people are saying about him on social media, just looking into him in general. And the kid does have a famous birthday that says that he's 15 years old, but this kid does claim that that is just a year wrong and that he is in fact 14. Do I believe that James Charles actually asked this kid how old he was and the kid told him that he was 18 years of age? Yes, I 100% do. I do not for a second think that James Charles, being James Charles, knowing all the drama that he has been in, is going to actively pursue someone that is underage to get photos of them, but to also try to fly them out to LA. However, James, with all of that said, I think it is very irresponsible of you and you did drop the ball in this situation. When that kid told you that he was 18 years of age, you should have done a little bit more digging. You should have researched this kid a little bit more before you started sending whatever pictures you're going to send over on Snapchat. You should have looked into him because newsflash for everyone out there, if someone tells you that they are 18 years of age, hell, even if they tell you that they're 19 years of age, you should still be checking that ID, girl, because people lie all the damn time. And now look how many people are in some drama. So let's get back to the video that this kid uploaded where he tried to expose James Charles because one, his friend was sitting there staring at the camera in a very creepy way the whole entire time. I'm not even exactly sure if the friend blinked before he actually said a few words in the video, but the kid was detailing everything, saying that James Charles made him feel very uncomfortable, tried to manipulate him by like saying, are you sure you're not by and you know what? It's the same song and dance every single time with James Charles. I feel like we've heard that excuse so much. Well, James Charles was talking to me and then it turned into, well, you know, maybe you're bisexual and all this. James, I'm going to say this right now. If someone is telling you that they are straight in this world, you're not going to change them. Could you get a guy that maybe is going to fuck around with you if you're going to throw him a little bit of cash? That is totally a possibility. There is gay for pay. People get into that all the damn time. But this obsession with straight guys, you know, the straight guys that you even detailed in this video clip right here with Shane Dawson as well as Ryland. I got a speeding ticket one time because I left school early to go pick up a straight guy that went to another school that I knew was on the DL to hook up with him. You have an issue with straight boys. I do. You need to work it out. I'm working on it, girl. You have to be able to find a masculine gay guy. I mean, there are a million of them, but there's no challenge in that. That's never going to end in a relationship. Well, not with that attitude, it won't. <laughs> My, if you give me one piece of advice you think that would help to find me a man, what would it be? I don't think you should have a problem. I oh. think you're confident. I think you're talented. Oh. I think you're you, successful. You're young. Yeah, you're attractive. You know how to dress yourself. If That's anything, you're just looking in the wrong places. Like, maybe stop looking at the straight guys. You need to move on from that fetish because you're fetishizing straight guys and guys that are on the DL, which, mind you, a lot of people were not happy with the fact that you went on Logan Paul's thing and you were talking about a guy from TikTok that is on the DL. They're on the DL for a reason. That's the down low, girl. They don't want people to know that they're fucking around with another dude, at least not at this point in time. So the kid says that he did make James Charles aware of the fact that he was underage and James Charles kept sending him these pictures of him over on the Snapchat. When he would leave James on red, James would get upset. He would block him, all this kind of stuff. It just seems so childish. 100, it's, it, I mean, so at some point of this dude's video, he does say that he is only doing this video because he does not want the clout. 
but he is also doing this video because he wants to bring awareness to this in case there is someone else out there going through exactly what he is experiencing with James Charles. Let me just make this very clear right now, okay? And people can get mad at me in the comment section 100%. This is not drama for YouTube. This is not drama for clicks and views. If an adult is doing something inappropriate with a minor, the police and authorities need to be contacted. It's honestly weird to sit here and talk about this because I have not seen proof from James Charles that this kid was in fact telling him that he was 18 years of age. I also have not seen proof from this kid that he has told James Charles that he is not 18 years of age and he is 14 years. So it's kind of hard to discuss this as of right now until more receipts actually come out about the situation if they ever do. And speaking about receipts and the proof, this dude actually went onto his Instagram story after he was getting dragged for calling James Charles out. And here's what he had to say. Anybody that has seen the James Charles video and has commented on that post, on that video, talking about where's the facts, where's the receipt saying that you were 14? I don't have the receipts. I pulled them off FaceTime. I pulled them off Snapchat. I have like a three video of us being on FaceTime. Okay? I am 14 years old. I have 330,000 followers on TikTok. I'm not trying to be arrogant. My age is on the internet. Okay, it says 15, it's a one-year difference. I'm still in, I'm still on the page. My age is on the internet, okay? If he really wanted to look that deep into it, he could have looked up my age. I told him my age. He knew my age. So to everybody saying, where's the receipt? I don't have the receipt. I have the receipt of wanting to fly me out, though. I have the receipt of all of that. Okay, he was trying to flip it on me, saying that I said I was 18 years old. I didn't say I was 18 years old, okay? He talked about me on Logan Paul's podcast, and I just him asking if there was shade, shade being thrown at me. You know what? He said no. He was talking about some Romanian boy, okay? First of all, it's crazy how that Romanian boy said everything I was saying to him, making all those excuses. I was uncomfortable. I didn't want to come see you alone. I had my homeboy, my homeboy, I asked my homeboy if he would come with me, cause I didn't want to be with you alone, cause you sent me news, you sent me news, and every time you sent me news, I left you on open, I left you on open, and you know what, you would get mad, or you would snap back, you would continue snapping me, okay, I was scared, I didn't know what to do, alright, I had mixed emotions, I didn't know what to do. All I want to do is be friends, okay? Yes, um, um, people are talking about how me and my friend were on there just putting troll comments. Our comments were bad. We were putting random emojis. Nothing wrong with putting random emojis. I didn't put nothing in front of gay people. I didn't do any of that, okay? I didn't do one thing of that. So for everybody saying I'm queer, baby, whatever y'all want to call it, I'm not. I wanted a friendship with this dude. He kept taking it too far. I didn't know what to do. I was stuck in a position where I didn't know what to do. So for everybody saying, oh, where's the receipt? Saying, oh, you were 14 years old. I don't have it. I don't have the receipt. At the time, I wasn't thinking this would happen. I started feeling uncomfortable, and I thought I would have to come out to the public talking about this whole situation. Because there might be kids out there my age that this has happened to, and they want to get it out, but they're too afraid. So I'm standing up for myself, just as well as these other kids that it probably happened to. Come on now, what makes you think that, um, this one is not true, okay? What makes you think that he wasn't talking to a 14-year-old boy, huh? Oh, there's no receipt saying I'm 14 years old. My age is on the internet. I am a public figure. I have 330,000 followers on TikTok. I have a fan base. I have people that care about me. He knew my TikTok. I have little girls commenting on my Instagram. There's no one older than 18 in my Instagram comments. I don't have facial hair. I don't have any facial hair. No, I don't look 18 years old. Like, what are you talking about? I'm sick of everybody accusing me for all of this. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm trying to help you out if this has ever happened to you. I'm trying to speak out so all these other kids will speak out like I did. I'm just trying to help everybody. I'm sick of this. Like, come on, when are we all going to come together and cancel this dude? He deserves to be in prison. Come on now, my age is on the internet, like I said. And for everybody talking about this should have been done behind the screen, um, police authorities, all that. I'm trying to get this out there. So just in case your daughter, your son, maybe yourself is dealing with this. I'm trying to get kids to speak out on this situation. That's the only thing I'm trying to do. I put my socials in the bio because maybe people want to check me out, you know? Like, you never know. Like, honestly, I put my friend's channel in the bio. Like, what? What's wrong with that? That's me cloud chasing what are you talking about? I don't want nothing to do with this. I was trying to help kids out and I'm getting hate for that. I'm getting hate for it. And I'm just, I'm just thinking this, you know? It's, it's a... Yeah, there's no proof of me saying 
14. But James Cole said I was 18. Where is the proof for that? I never said it. The, the world may honestly never know. But I promise you, I am 14 years old. I told him, age. Where is his receipt of me saying I'm 18 years old? Why am I talking about that? Why am I talking about the receipt of him saying I'm 18 years old? There is none. There's none for me either. It just happened. We didn't think you would get this. He thought he could take advantage of me. I'm smarter than that. Come on now, y'all. Yeah? I was on the phone with this dude. I was on the phone with James Charles when he was talking about he was looking through my tags, okay? My tags show me I'm little in my tags. Like, I look like a little kid in my tags. I look like a little boy. He was looking through my tags, and he called me cute. All FaceTime with me, looking through my Instagram tags. I look like a little boy. Like, come on now, James. What are you? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I want to make this clear because I did see a lot of people trying to drag James Charles over on Twitter for sending inappropriate photos on Snapchat or on Instagram. That is not the issue at all. It is the age of the person that he is doing it to. And James Charles should really steer clear of anyone that is 18 or 19 years old. Hell, might even steer clear of people that say they're 20. If you don't want to steer clear of people that age, do yourself a favor and ask to see their ID before you go any further in any conversation with them, James. Because honestly, James, you would be saved so much frustration in your life if you just did your due diligence and checked on the people that you were messaging and you wanted to fly out to LA, probably to stay in your house. I don't know, guys. For me, I need to see more proof, more receipts about this whole entire situation before I even go further with another video on it. But something I do want to say is, James, please stop messing around with all these boys. You are, I said this in a video before, you are James f***ing Charles. Millions of dollars, successful career, amazing house out there in California, wherever the hell you live. Why are you messing around with all these young people? Is it because you can give them something and you want to be the powerful one in the relationship? I'm not exactly sure. Get yourself a man, girl. A man. F*** a man. Get yourself a doctor. Get yourself a lawyer. Hell, get yourself a CEO of some company. Stop messing around with all these boys that at the end of the day, they're just going to break your heart. You know that there's going to be a video from you in a few years, probably after you date one of them, that's going to be, they used me for clout or they did this, they did that. Girl, save yourself the struggle, get yourself a successful man, your life will be amazing. So with all that said, please let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section about all this drama that is surrounding James Charles. And I do want to remind everyone that it is Monday. So a new podcast on the mouthful over on Patreon is going to be uploaded. And I think that Dustin and I are actually going to go further into detail about this. I'm not exactly sure, but the link is down below. If you guys choose to check that out, I love you guys. I'll see you guys all in my next video.